I'm really confused by how, you know, look, I'm not I'm not in Congress. I'm not a politician. But uh, here's a story from Vox. And I got a story from Daily Wire, too. Senate Democrats plan to shut down Republican trolling on the Green New Deal. Progressives, including Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, has, have already given their blessing. What are they talking about? What, what, what is this? What's the headline? It's like they wrote an article assuming you already know. You already know it's happening. No. In fact, it seems like they wrote an article that makes no sense with this headline. Ah, but when you pull up a different story, it starts to make sense. It makes me question what the hell Vox is writing about and why they're framing it the way they did. Sink or swim, AOC's anti-plane, anti-cow Green New Deal set for Senate vote today. Ah, that explains it. Why? Because it's probably going to get shot down because it's insane. So let's read this and then we'll jump over to uh, Vox and see what they're talking about. How is it trolling to pr- present a vote on a bill you presented? It's, in, it's ridiculous. Sometimes the U.S. Senate makes the momentous decisions that alter the course of history and affect the lives of every American. Other times, the August body takes a vote on a bill just to embarrass the legislation's backers. A vote Tuesday will be distinctly on the latter variety. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell will put a proposal laid out by the House newcomer Ocasio-Cortez, which he calls the Green New Deal, to a full Senate vote on, th- on Tuesday, and he's positively giddy about it. I could not be more glad that the American people will have the opportunity to learn precisely where each one of their senators stand on the Green New Deal, McConnell wrote Monday on Twitter, a radical top-down socialist makeover of the entire US economy that even the AFL-CIO, the largest federation of unions, opposes. McConnell's move will put Democrats on the record as to whether they support the Green New Deal under the draft plan. Cortez proposes eliminating all fossil fuel powered electricity that would shutter all coal and natural gas power plants across the U.S., costing hundreds of thousands of jobs. Oh, and she also wants to get rid of all gas powered cars in 10 years, along with planes, too. Did we mention cows? Well, they didn't say they wanted to get rid of cows. They said they didn't think they could get rid of farting cows because cows fart producing methane or whatever. According to a prematurely released outline of the deal, which was later retracted, the New York Democratic Socialist and fellow bill uh, sponsor Edward Markey set a goal to get net zero rather than zero emissions in 10 years because we aren't sure we'll be, a- we'll, we'll be able to fully get rid of farting cows and airplanes that fast. Well, you won't. Let's move on. It calls to a guarantee for all jobs. We got all that stuff. So let's uh, Ocasio-Cortez has ripped the coming Senate vote which will not pass because Republicans control the chamber, as wasting votes in Congress. The GOP's whole game of wasting votes in Congress to target others on the record for leg they have no intent to pass is a disgrace. She wrote Saturday on Twitter, stop wasting the American people's time. Hold on. You're saying that he's wasting people's time by asking them to vote on a bill you proposed? Who's wasting time? Did you write a bill with no expectation of Senate voting on this bill? What is the point of presenting it if you're upset now it's moving forward? It sounds like you are wasting people's time. I can't stand politicians, period. Republicans, though, feel just the opposite. It's the gift that keeps on giving. The Times also said many Democrats will not go on the record in the Tuesday vote. Several Democrats said the caucus still is not unified on how to approach the vote on the Green New Deal, though most are expected to vote present, which is like, I think present means abstaining. Well, let's see what, the, what Vox has to say about this. So we talk about, uh, let's see, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said he plans to hold a procedural vote on the resolution, a progressive wish list, yada, yada, we get it. As the thinking goes, if only part of the Democratic caucus winds up backing the idea, Republicans could argue that it doesn't actually have enough support from the party. The move is also aimed at putting Democrats from more moderate states in a tough position, forcing them to choose between backing a popular liberal idea and potentially turning off some of their constituents. Wow, a popular liberal idea, Vox. That's, that's great. So is the AFL-CIO, the largest collection of, uh, of unions with 12.5 million members, not liberal? Or do they not matter? Given its underlying motivations, McConnell's plan got a scathing rebuke from Ocasio-Cortez, a co-sponsor of the deal. She says, the Senate vote is a perfect example of, of that kind of superficial approach to government. What? What McConnell's doing is that he's trying to rush this bill to the floor without a hearing, without any markups, without working through committee, because he doesn't want to save our planet, because he thinks we can drink oil in 30 years when our water is poisoned. Wow. Ocasio-Cortez is like, I, I would like to, put, to, to draw, design a sign that says the end is nigh and have her wave it around. Now, 
There is a center left think tank we cited over on the Subverse channel in our report on this. And, and the center left position is that, no, the world is not going to end in 12 years. That's ridiculous. Cortez is a conspiracy theorist, and she's got a bunch of people alongside her that don't include labor unions and moderate liberals. Now, she may have a point that McConnell wants to rush through things. I don't think that's the case. I think McConnell wants to humiliate. He's, it's, it's, it's a strategic position where he's willing to bet, I would agree with him, that most Democrats will not support this because the average Democrat doesn't support this. They like to ca- claim it's popular. If it was popular, though, then why would you need to mark it up or revise it? The, the, the amount of revisions to this would be insane. It's so crazy. Second page is full of identitarianism, nonetheless. Much like House Democrats responded when then House Speaker Paul Ryan, Paul Ryan sought to hold a vote on abolishing immigration and customs enforcement, a plan he ultimately reversed, Senate Democrats aren't falling for it. Why, why are they proposing things they don't support or don't want to vote on? That's the question. I think it's fine because this is a procedural question, <clears throat> she said. It's, I'm totally fine either way because it's been rushed through. Okay. Almost as soon as Ed Markey and Ocasio-Cortez announced the Green New Deal, New Deal, McConnell and Republicans pounced. Ooh, they, they always love pouncing. Even as the climate plan is becoming a litmus test for 2020 presidential candidates, every declared contender in the upper chamber, including Cory Booker, Gillibrand, Harris, Klobuchar, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, have signed on as co-sponsor. And my God, the AFL-CIO has rejected it, has denounced it. Who are you representing again? I'm just so confused by these people. The majority leader pretty much laid out its strategy in public remarks he gave about his plan. Every member of this body will have the opportunity to cast a clear vote this week. He said in a floor in a floor speech on Monday, the American people deserve to know which senators can reject this crippling proposal right away and which senators find themselves unable to do that. It's a tactic Ryan attempted to leverage to get Democrats to fracture on the question of abolishing ICE during the height of the family separation crisis at the border when the rallying cry was proving divisive in the Democratic Party. They're split. I've had people say to me that they think the Democratic Party is going to split into two parties. I think it already has. When they're fighting among them, among themselves, when Ocasio-Cortez showed up to protest Nancy Pelosi, what do you think's happening? They're... Cortez has threatened to primary other moderate Democrats. There's now been moves back and forth. The Democrats are split in half. I don't see them winning. I don't. Because I don't think that the progressive wing is going to support a moderate and the moderate wing will not support a Democrat. It didn't work with Hillary Clinton. It didn't. And you had the progressives saying, oh, they ran a bad candidate. They did. But even if they won't support them to defeat Trump, then Trump's going to win. If they put up a progressive, do you think that moderates are going to vote for a progressive? Never going to happen. Now that the 2020 election is very much underway, McConnell has a similar calculus when it comes to the Green New Deal. Not everyone is on board with the plan, and he wants to underscore the division in the Democratic Party. A McConnell spokesman did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the intent of the vote. Regardless of where they stand in the Green New Deal itself, however, Senate Democrats are unified in their opposition to McConnell's political maneuver. Yes, because it would put them in such a position where it's going to, it's going to, it's bad. If, listen, I know I said it a lot, but if the labor unions oppose this and you're forced to vote for it and you say yes, then what's going to happen come 2020 is a, is a memo is going to be sent out by the, by the labor unions to all their members saying, do not vote Democrat. They can't have that. They're, they're trying to stay unified, which means they have to virtue signal to the, to the progressives. We do support it. But when it comes time to the actual vote, they're in a tough spot because they're going to alienate all of the moderates and even the independent voters. This vote is a sham. And little more than a political ploy to protect vulnerable Republicans from having to defend their climate science denial. Markey, the chief sponsor of the resolution, said in a statement, I will be voting present. And I, ch- oh, this is such slime. You wrote the damn, the, you and Cortez wrote the damn thing. Vote for it. It's yours. Own it. And I challenge Republicans to offer their own proposal on combating the threat of climate change instead of blocking all ap- action to, to combat it. Progressive activists are on board with the strategy. That's just slime, 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 slime. Then they can, that, all, they're all going to vote present and say, it's not that we support or oppose. It's that the conversation needs to be had. Yes, because heaven forbid your constituents actually find out you support this nonsensical bill, because that's the reality. When Schumer and Green New Deal activists align on Democrats punting McConnell's attempt to put them on the spot on the Green New Deal, progressive groups still want the minority leader to sign on the sweeping resolution himself. Neither Schumer nor House Speaker Pelosi has done this yet. I wonder why. 
Despite the momentum around the Green New Deal, the Democratic leaders aren't about to pick favorites, signaling openness to a wide array of climate solutions. Oh, okay. The Green New Deal isn't necessarily the answer. We shouldn't support it. We should wait. But then we should get mad when we're asked to actually vote on it. So they're going to vote present. And I'll tell you what, the Green New Deal is going to fail. Isn't that, isn't that something? Public sentiment will help us pass the most bold common denominator, Pelosi told reporters last month. I'm very excited about all of it, and I welcome a Green New Deal and any other proposals people have out there. But Sunrise Move and another group say it's time to commit to the boldest plan out there to combat a worldwide climate crisis. We particularly want Schumer to continue to make climate change central to his agenda and come through and back the Green New Deal. Back the Green New Deal. They won't because it's all politicking. I don't think the Democrats support this. I think they're looking for something to have to contrast themselves from Trump because Trump is actually more moderate than many past Republicans. Trump has embraced positions once held by Democrats like border fencing, all that stuff, immigration, Joe, uh, uh, Joe Biden, Schumer. They all supported this stuff. What do they do now? Are they going to agree with Trump? Can't do that. So they got to offer up something else. But then, oh, man, you're in a hell of a bind. Yeah, because the average working person in this country isn't going to support you if you support this. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. I'm going to end there. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 10 a.m. Adios.